and uh, we have economist uh, Bill Barkley, who's with the Chicago Political Economy Group, uh, to come forward and just share a few of those viable funding solutions. Uh, go ahead and come on up. Bill's very familiar with the bullhorn. Everybody hear me? Okay. As John said, my name is Bill Barkley. I'm one of the founding members of the Chicago Political Economy Group. And I'm going to keep this fairly short. I want to say, start by saying the one problem we have is too many of our political leaders, when they're around the 1%, they're like teenage girls around Justin Bieber, doe wide slack-jawed, and drooling. They, and critical thinking goes out the window. So let me give you a couple of critical things to think about. First, we can raise $6 billion a year by an extremely small financial transaction tax. One dollar on every contract traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, Chicago Board Options Exchange, Chicago Board of Trade. That's because there's three billion plus contracts traded each year, and at the buyer and seller, and there's always a buyer and seller to every contract, each paid a dollar. That would raise six billion dollars a year. Now these contracts average in size somewhere between 230 and 275 thousand dollars. So we're talking about one dollar on a contract that's worth that much. This, by the way, of course, is a version of a financial transaction tax, and somebody will say to me, we should do it nationally. Absolutely, we should do it nationally, but let's get it started in Illinois, because we have a resource here to get it going. So that's our first proposal. And that one, th th that one this legislature could pass. There's nothing standing between them and, and implementing that except political will. The second proposal takes a little more time. I'm also on the board, as I think John mentioned, of the Center for Tax and Budget Accountability. And we published an analysis of the need for a graduated, a progressive income tax in the state of Illinois. The particular analysis we came out with, we could give a tax cut to all families in the state making $150,000 or less, which is about 94% of all households, raise taxes on the families above that, and raise about $3 billion extra dollars a year out of a graduate income tax. This is, takes a little longer because the Illinois Constitution, as you may be aware, forbids a progressive income tax. So we have to pass it through the legislature and then put it on a ballot in a, in a gen, in general election, the next general election is 2014. But we are planning to do that. We could go further because if we had the same kind of tax, income tax structure the state of Iowa has, we'd raise $6 billion more a year. So Illinois is a low tax state and it's a tax state that is regressive. We are the third most regressive state in terms of the way we tax. And when I say that, I'm talking about adding sales tax, property tax, and income taxes together. And if you look at what that means, it means that people whose income is in the bottom quintile, the bottom 20%, end up spending about 13 or 14 percent of their income on all those three taxes. People in the top quintile, people in the top one percent, pay about five percent of the total income of those two taxes. So it's every everything is upside down. If we flip that back, we would not have a budget deficit, and we can start funding the pensions and other things we need. So we need to work hard to get these things. It's not going to be easy, but we need to constantly pressure the legislature because the money is there. It's out there. It's just that we are taxing the wrong people. We're taxing the wrong base. So let's get together and do it. Thanks.